Welcome back to our math review. So today we have the number 346, so pause the video and do your hundreds, tens, and ones and decide if it's odd or even. Go! All right, so for we have our 300, so I'm gonna draw three of my 100 cubes. We have four tens and six ones. I'm then going to put them in pairs and they are even because all of them are in a pair. So using the number 346, do your hundreds, tens, and ones. Go! So we have three hundreds, four tens, and six ones. So your board should look something similar to that. Now using this, you're going to use this for your expanded form, so remember this is not three, this is 300, so 100, 200, 300, counting by hundreds. So fill in your expanded form with the number 346. Go. 346. All right, with expanded form, we will have the 300. We had four tens, which is the same as 40 plus our six ones. So 300 plus 40 plus six equals 346. Now we're using our 346 to find minus 10 plus 10 minus one plus one. So do that now, pause the video and do that now, go. Alright, so remembering the hundreds will stay the same because we're only working with tens and ones. So 346 minus 10 is 336. 346 plus 10 is 356. 346 minus 1 is 345. 346 plus one is 347. Now going on to missing number, pause that and do that now, go. Zero, so let's go through this. Zero plus blank equals 10. Zero plus 10 equals 10. Blank plus one equals nine, eight plus one equals nine, and two plus blank equals eight, two plus six equals eight. Now we're moving on to balance both sides. So we have the equation two plus eight. Pause the video and do that now. All right, so two plus eight is a 10 fact. <coughs> And then we're going to do another equation on the other side. I'm going to do 1 plus 9, and that equals 10. Put them in order. So you have numbers 42, 136, 152, and 18. Put those in order now. Go. All right. So I notice two digits, three, three, two. So I'm starting with my two because they're the smaller. And I notice that 18 is the smaller. Then we have the 42. Then I'm gonna look at 136 and 152. I touch the hundreds. I jump back one spot to the tens. I notice that three tens is less than five tens. 
So 136 would be less than, and then 152 would be the greater number. So now moving on to greater than, less than, or equal. Pause the video and do that now. Go! All right, so I'm going to go through this quickly. 27 and 72, touch the tens. Notice more tens, 72. So 27 is less than 72. Both of these have three digits, so I touch the 100 spot, 300s and 500, so 500 is more. So 312 is less than 572. I notice 68 only has two digits and 100 has three. So there's 100 in the one spot, one is in 100, and if I went to the 100 spot in 68, there's zero, so one is greater than zero. So 68 is less than 100. Now we're on to whole part part. Remember, breaking into tens and ones. So do that now. Go. So we're going to break 35 into 30 plus 5. And it is 30 plus 5 equals 35. 35 minus 5 equals 30. And then our fact family, we have 36, 6, and 30. So pause the video and do that now. Go! Alright, so we're taking our two smaller numbers, our part numbers, 6 and 30. Put those together, add them together to get to 36. Then we're taking reversal, 30 goes first, 30 plus 6 equals 36. Then we're taking our larger number, 36, minusing one of the smaller. So 36 minus 6 equals 30. And then 36 minus 30 equals 6. Moving on to our clock. So notice which one we have our hour and our minute. So do the time now. Go. All right. So I look at my hour first. The smaller one goes first. The hour hand, 10. And my larger hand, the minute hand, is pointing at the 12, so it's double zero. So my time is 10 o'clock. Moving on to our fraction, so pause it and complete those now. Go! So I'm going to start the circle. We're going to cut it into fourths, or four equal quarters. I'm going to color in three quarters, or three fourths. And then my rectangle, I'm going to cut into two halves. And I'm going to color in one half of my rectangle. All right, so on our counting, our skip counting today, we're actually going to do fives today. So we're going to count by fives. So one thing that's really fun with fives is the way that you know if you're going to be landing on a number when you count by fives, it either ends in a five or a zero. That's it. Five or zero. So count with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. And we'll stop there with our counting by fives. All right, here are our equations for today, so pause the video and do those now. Go! All right, so I'm just going to review them now, but you should have worked them out either the long way or the short way. So, 34 plus 29 equals 73. 
36 plus 58 equals 94. 15 plus 17 equals 32. 61 plus 19 equals 80. All right, that is all for today. See you tomorrow.